Hello Taurus! This is Cupid's advice for you for the month of July 2016. Atmosphere of the month, six of coins. It's a wonderful atmosphere. It's atmosphere of fairness. Uh, when we making order in our relationships, when we making them fair actually, when we month of gifts, presents. And you know, <clears throat> the six of coins, it's like small justice when we or our partner if you coupled paying back with something let's say you always were doing something for your partner always helping him or her always always and this month don't be surprised if your partner will pay back to you with the same things don't reject this gift don't reject this presence this help because we can't, uh, we we are not allow, we're not allowed to. We must know <laughs> how it's in right in English. We must give a chance to a person to pay us what they owe us. You know, to people. So six of coins, it's card of actually a gift justice, alignments, uh, paying back, not only by money. And also six of coins, I feel for you in this reading, and maybe <clears throat> if there was some legal uh, issues, papers issues that you didn't finish in your partnership, maybe it's month when you will be taking care of this as well. What can help? The wheel, the wheel of fortune. And what will not help you? Three of Swords. Let's start with Three of Swords. It's never help actually. <laughs> because Three of Swords, it's card of old wounds, lies, deception, separation, I don't know, tears, worries, uh, sorrows of any kind. And it will not help. If you will remember all these old bad things that happened, if you will be spending too much time apart from your partner, it's also not good. If you're single and if you had some, let's say, unpleasant relationships or you went through some tragedy recently, uh, it will not help you if you will remember all the time, every day or almost every day of July, uh, how awful it was because it will not help you to be happy. The wheel changes, changes, creativity, travels, new people, meeting people. If you get invited somewhere, go there. If um, you wanted to go somewhere, go and, excuse me, it's my phone, excuse me, excuse me for that. Well, where I stopped? Wheel of Fortune for singles. It's changes. It's really when we first setting our goals, what do we want from relationships? What person we want to have in our life? Do we want it? Uh, maybe we don't want uh, relationships at all. Maybe we want something else in our private life because Cupid's advice is not only about love but I think that Taurus are very traditional, very home-like family people so if you want relationships you have to go somewhere, new places, see, meet new people, talk to them even if it's not about romance in the beginning. You know it's communication because through this communication, and by the way, six of coins can be when you meet someone through job, through business, or somewhere when it's uh, not like romantic-like event, maybe it's more like business event, or through the, uh, your school or university, by the way, if you were going to the university, college or school in July, then six of coins, it can be this. So, Wheel of Fortune, it's progress, it's evolution. 
and also when we using all chances that we get in our life. For Taurus who are involved, who are in the relationships, but there is this there are this there is distance between you and your partner. If you have been planning to move together, it's a great month to do it. Wheel of Fortune in advice. And Three of Swords is being separated from your loved ones. So if you want plan to move and you have this chance, use this chance. If you are far away from your uh, lover and you see each other not so often, not every month, you know it's a good uh, month to travel to see your partner or for your partner to come to you. If you have this possibility, use it also because the wheel is recommended. It will probably help the your relationships to progress. In existing relationships, three of swords, try not to remember all this, I don't know, old pain, uh, something bad that happened in the past. We, we have to for, forgive it and forget it. It's easier for us if you, of course, if you want to keep these relationships. Wheel of Fortune, change your environment if you seeing all the time the same people and something is like after these meetings if you have some let's say discussions with your partner something is going wrong maybe you should change uh, who you seeing even if you coupled you know sometimes family they are friends with each other but some people you know they are not fitting us for some reason it's a good month to try to see new people go somewhere with your partner if you planned if you plan if you always going uh, on the vacation at the same place but uh, you were discussing maybe we should try some new place maybe we should go on the vacation not in that uh, area but in another area try it will of fortune is change and sometimes it's quite big change so it's this this turn point you should make this month in your relationships and it will make your relationships flourish stronger and much better dear taurus i'm wishing you good luck love abundance and hope to see you soon